So this is in reference to narcissistic siblings. And if you're new here, I'm a narcissist. I have narcissistic personality disorder. Hey, you in the camera. There you go. So yes, narcissists will 100% mirror their siblings. And I know this from experience because my twin brother, who I said, who is not a narcissist, he got dreads first. People start liking his dreads. So guess what I did? I got dreads. He no longer has them, but I like, you know, I still like my dreads. It was a kind of like follow the leader type stuff with being him for a very, very long time. He went to college, got a degree and stuff like that. So I, you know, I took different paths in life. I went, I still got my degree and whatnot, but anyway, I watched a lot of the stuff that he did and then copied a lot of his personality traits because people liked him. He's a very, very good person, y'all. He just is. He's a uh, school teacher in Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you are very, very good at something and you have a sibling that is a narcissist, they will 100% copy you because they they see that it works in public. They see that you fit in, so they want to fit in too. So yes, narcissists will 100% take on the personality traits and characteristics of their sibling and maybe copy jobs and stuff like that too. Okay. What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains. I am self-aware diagnosed narcissist Lee Hammock, and I use my platform on social media of over a million people to, you know, raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and to validate the victims and survivors as well. If this is your first time. Look, this series is dedicated to making my using my making my TikToks and YouTube shorts longer. They are 60 seconds or less. This is going to be a lot longer than 60 seconds. So. The video you just watched was about how narcissists will mirror their siblings. So I know, let's up. So I've done videos about mirroring before. Um, so I'm gonna go into detail. You know what mirror? You know what mirror? I can't. The Southern North Carolina draw, y'all. I'm saying mirror, like reflecting, like the, like a mirror. I'm saying that it might not sound like it, but that's what I'm saying. Narcissists like to mirror their siblings and everybody else around us, because that's how when you first meet a narcissist. They're going to mirror back your personality traits that we find, that we like. If we like your personality traits, we're going to mirror that trait back to you. So if inevitably, you are really actually falling in love with yourself. The personality characteristics that you see that you like in us are reflected back to you because we saw, we saw what we liked in you. So you're falling in love with yourself you, when a narcissist is mirroring you. So when it comes to siblings, yeah, narcissistic siblings, where narcissists will mirror their siblings, their personality characteristics that we see in our siblings that we like and we enjoy. It could be your younger siblings, it could be your old, it could be our younger brothers and sisters, it could be our older brothers and sisters. It really doesn't matter. The, like, the age is kind of irrelevant, but like it, with most people, with, with some people, it's irrelevant with me because me personally, like, I told people this before. I think I said in that video right there that I have a twin brother. My twin brother is not a narcissist, y'all. He has he has some stuff going on, but he is not a narcissist. He's like a very he's a, a teacher. I mean, he's a good person. He's a great great person. He's a great person. About to have a baby. Got married. He's is my brother. Yeah, he's doing good. He's doing really really good for himself. Um, and he's happy. But like he is, you know, I've been mirror I've mirrored him for a lot because like I said, I've been I've felt different for a very very long time, y'all. I felt. Um, I felt like my emotions didn't click the same. I felt like even watching, even being around him, I felt like we didn't feel the same about too much stuff to be twins. You know what I mean? I, so I always knew something was wrong with me, so to speak. So I would mirror the, the stuff that he would do. I would just fall in line with what he did for a long time because he was he had a lot of friends. He has a lot of friends now. You know, he had a lot of friends. He fits in the crowds and stuff like that. People like him. And I was just like, I was just act like my brother, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I just literally act like my brother. I mirrored his characteristics for a long time. What set us up, I mean, if you meet my brother, um, my wife met my, my brother, we, we are a lot alike, but we're, we we're very, very different at the same time. Because have we grown, because I don't, you know, he's, we're 36 years old, we haven't lived together in like what, 10 years. So have we grown and moved away from each other? We, of course, my per I had to find my own personality characteristics by being by myself, and he just continued to be himself, you know? So I like even like in our in our adulthood though you know he grew like I said in the, he grew he grew dreads and I liked his dreads so I, I grew some, I grew some dreads he ended up he has, he's cut his dreads since then and I you know as you can see I still have as you can see I still have mine but I mirrored his look because I like the way he looked I like that his dreads make him fit in let me do let me get dreads because that made me that might be may, might make me look cool too let me do something like this so he went to school got a degree so guess what i did i was always gonna go to school anyway but like i didn't want him to leave me behind you know what I mean i was like my brother's going to school getting a degree i don't want my brother to leave me behind so cool i just did that you know what i mean I, he, he started like we, there's so much stuff that he's done that i've just fallen and fell in suit with fell in suit behind and i love my brother to the death like that's my brother and like me and like i've treated him bad over the years here and there too because you know, they don't like partying with me because i get drunk and get angry 
know what I mean? Because I have anger issues. I've had anger issues for a long time. I don't get as angry anymore, but I do have anger issues. You know what I mean? So I, I've been working on that. The rage. The North, everybody, not, your, significant, your significant other is not the only person that gets the rage, y'all. Everybody gets the rage. It's not just a significant other. Everybody close to you can get it. Mama, daddy, brother, sisters, everybody can get it. But you might be dealing with, if you have a sibling that is a narcissist, you might be dealing with something very, very similar in, in, the, in the aspect that, like, they might act like you. They might start to talk like you. They might get the same job as you. They might go to the same school as you. They might fall in suit with you. Even if, they're, even if you are younger than them, they might start to act like you. They might start to try to, you know, in a, oh, God damn it. I'm sorry about that. I had to cut the camera short. I had to, I'm a real estate agent in North Carolina. I had to go show a house. <laughs> sorry about that. I'm back though. So, you might have a narcissistic sibling that tends to try to act like you and become you. And like I was saying before, age is kind of irrelevant in this equation because you can be the younger brother or the younger sister of a narcissist and they will still take the personality characteristics that you have. Like my, one of my younger brothers is uh, married now. Uh, got two couple kids, whatever. He's a good husband. I'm trying to emulate his style. You anyway, know, and my other little brother, my youngest brother, one of my youngest brothers, he is, um, he is very, very, you know, he's ambitious. He's just kind of like me to the point. But I don't think, is he a narcissist? I don't think so. But like, he's very ambitious to the point now where he's just trying a lot of stuff. And I love the ambition. I love the, like, he just up and moved to Texas one day. I love the, the ambition and things like that, I love it. So I'm trying to pick that up from him. You know what I mean? I love the fact that my bro, my I love my siblings and like I, you, your narcissistic siblings will want to try to pick up on the stuff that you are doing and become you. Because if you're a good person, if you have a good reputation, yeah, they'll pick up the stuff that you do. That's like it. They'll come work the same job you do. They'll pick up the same hobbies, play the same sports. And I know I know you're gonna be like Lee. That doesn't make you a narcissist to want to play football because your big brother plays football. Duh, it doesn't for the right reasons <laughs> but if you are if you are a if you are a narcissist I'm speaking from experience you see you see people doing things that you wish you could be doing and you try to do those things you you literally go out your way to try to do those things and become that person like we emulate our sibling we, we, we mirror our siblings good caught personality characteristics and the, the bad personality characteristics we don't mirror those we we tend to resent resent you for those we, if you have if you have bad personality characteristics and you don't serve that narcissistic sibling, they will discard you, just like they discard a relationship, just like they discard um, a job or stuff like that. They'll switch up on you. They'll go. They'll give you the silent treatment. They'll do things like that as well to you. Um, but they don't don't let that deter you and things like that. Like I said, I know it's tough to cut off a brother or a sister or stuff like that. But sometimes you have to keep your distance from narcissists, from your narcissistic or siblings, and have to realize that what your everybody. Grow, you might grow up in the same household, but you have different experiences. You know what I mean? Everybody might grow up in the same exact household, but have different experiences and different like reactions to the trauma, different reactions to the situation that makes people different. So your reaction, your your the way you were raised, might be very very different from where you uh, how your brothers and sisters were raised, depending on the age difference. Like the stuff that you went through, like my, my twin brother, we went through this, a lot of the same same things, but he received them, he he reacted differently than those things. So yeah, I've been trying to mirror my brother for a long time. I'm I'm more myself now, cause like you can, if you meet me now, meet him now, you be like yeah y'all, we can tell y'all like, but y'all a lot different because I, I became my own person. And like I said, not only would they try to mirror you, they would try to replace you too. I know I was saying that earlier. They would try to replace you in your friend groups. They would try to replace you at your job. They would try to take. They would try to replace you in your family. So you gotta kind of watch out for your narcissistic brothers and sisters. They'll try to replace you and get rid of you. They want to be. They want to be the favorite child. Sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll. Sometimes if the narcissist feels like you are the, the preferred child, the golden child or whatever. If y'all have a narcissistic parent, if they feel like you're getting preferential treatment from your parents, they will mirror you just to get to try to get that preferential treatment. Like you're smart in school, they'll try to do, they'll try to do better in school. Whatever they, whatever you get in praise for your parents from, they'll mirror that and try to get praise from them for the same things because they don't want to get left behind. Like I know I don't want to get left behind and things like that, y'all. So you have to like kind of watch out for the narcissistic siblings because they're out there. They are. I'm one of them. Like, this is not me. They be like, "Lee, you trying to hide behind the, the YouTubes and a Tikka Taka and an Instagrammy?" No, I'm be, I'm literally keeping it real with y'all because this is what I have to do on this channel to live my life. You know what I mean? I have to keep it real to live to be able to live. I just have to. So, do I still mirror my brothers and sisters now? Yeah. 
yeah, I definitely mirror them now. Like I said, but it's more along the lines. I've, I've became I've, over the years. I've became more of myself, and I'm more happy and comfortable with being who I am right now. And like, if you have a narcissistic brother or sister, I'm not telling you to cut them off. But sometimes you have to understand that everybody has different experiences in the household. And if they're treating you terribly, yeah, take create some distance between them. If they're treating you terribly and treating you like they don't care. They're trying to replace you in your family. Like they're trying to sleep with your wife or you sleep with your husband or something like that. Yeah, you might need to get rid of that person and keep them away from your life. Get them out of your life because they'll mirror. You. They'll mirror how you parent your kids. So they'll mirror like yo. The mirroring doesn't stop. They'll mirror how you parent your kids. They'll mirror literally every aspect of your life. You it, it'll be like you'll having a clone of you out there in the world. It's like well, you, you you and you won't even know it. Like your brother acts just like you. Like really? Why? You don't act like this. They'll and they'll act differently in public than they act with you. They won't mirror you right in front of you, but they'll mirror you when you're not at home. Like, what the world? Where you, you act so different, just like a narcissistic relationship, just like a romantic relationship. They're different and all in public than they are at home. Anyways, y'all, hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Hope it brought you some peace. Hope it brought you some clarity. Like and subscribe for more. Mental illness is out. Peace.